Hello, Bouncy Ball here with Megabit. So, Borderlands 2 came out uh, to much fanfare, has sold very, very well, beat Mass Effect 3 in terms of game sales, which is something to be really, really admired. But what do I think of it? Well, t- I'll be honest, I was slightly underwhelmed. Um, it's been a time when we've had Rage, and we've had Fallout, and Fallout New Vegas, and Borderlands, and... Uh, if everything else that you can think of that's been that kind of thing. Mostly, mostly Rage and Fallout and Borderlands. They're, they're the main three. Um, and they've all done similar things. And they've all done it well. Borderlands 2 realises it can't better the gameplay uh, of the predecessors because they've got everything that they were trying to do right. And Borderlands 1, for many reasons, got stuff right. Its focus was co-op. The, the less focus was on story mode. So with Borderlands 2, straight away, you're blown up and you, you're introduced to a story that you're part of. And this is a good thing. This is a very good thing. Uh, I am playing on my own. I'm not playing co-op yet. I may start a separate game for co-op to the main game that I'm doing at the moment, but I'm still playing. Now, Borderlands 1, I gave up after about probably 20 hours with a game of dicking about, shooting scrags, my mate and me just crashing cars off of stuff. It didn't do huge amounts. This game didn't engage me straight away. It took a little while. A lot of it just felt too familiar. A lot of it felt that I'd done it all before. But with time comes reward. With gameplay length comes introduction to new characters. And my God, there are some good characters in Borderlands 2. Uh, little vignettes do very, very well. There are some great introduction pieces, um, great quotes, Easter eggs. Also, I've just got a mission that's basically I've got to deliver pizza to some genetically engineered turtle type things. Get it? You know, it's obvious. It's obvious, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's a battle toads. No, no, no. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, I've seen QR codes hidden on pizza boxes, QR codes hidden on uh, postcards, not QR code references. There's, there's movie references and there's quotes and there's people's humming the theme to Ride of the Valkyries, which is very funny when I saw it in Halo 3. Also very, very funny in Borderlands 2. There is no part of Borderlands 2 so far that I can fault. There, re- there really isn't. Um, I could say it's overly reliant on co-op, but then how many games aren't these days? A lot of them are. So I've spent probably 10 hours, 12 hours in the game. I look forward to spending more time with the game. Um, I know Dalek is, is recording one of these. He'll be down there. Uh, if you watch this on the website, obviously he'll be down there. If you watch it on YouTube, it might be over there or over there or just somewhere else. So he's going to give his view. But I'm, I'm pretty confident, pretty confident we're going to agree on stuff. Now, little sticky issue for some people. DLC, they did a, board, they did a Borderland season pass. Ooh, four pieces of story-based DLC for the price of three, just like they did with Gears of War 3. Then this week they said, well, there will be other DLC that doesn't feature as part of the DLC pack. And some people said, well, is it a season pass if you don't get... The other content, I would argue, yes. Gears of War didn't give you all of the skins for the weapons. Saints Row over the third season pass didn't give you access to everything. It just gave you the essentials. It gave you the main story-driven content. So you might not get the car that flies like the sand skiffs in Return of the Jedi. You might not get an extra weapon that shoots great big laser frogs into the end of its face and splats them in the face and goes all mad. But you get all the story. And that's all that matters. And they've been working on it since the game was finished. They haven't finished the first bit yet, even if it had launched today. The game was finished a while ago. So, yes, I am a big fan of Borderlands 2. Um, And I'm pretty sure most of you out there as well are. I was surprised to be. I expected it to be rubbish. But it wasn't. There's a lesson to be learned there, probably. Anyway, this is Bouncy Ball from the Lollacost. With my view on Borderlands 2, say goodbye from the Lollacost Megabit. Cheerio!